Well, as we were mentioning, the cool temperatures keeping people away from the beaches, and that's, that's evident right here. A live look at South Padre Island from our DHR Health Weather Camera Network, looking out over the Gulf waters. The seas are not as, uh, or the surf is not as high as it has been, so that has improved across the area. And we have seen some breaks at times in the clouds. In fact, pretty good breaks uh, from just about Port Isabel. Uh, eastern portions of Cameron County and I still think we'll see the clouds breaking up eventually over a larger part of the valley but right now pretty much socked into those clouds and we've seen of course those showers around they're going to continue off and on uh, for the next few hours or so and then they'll slowly start to taper off as we go further into the afternoon and there you can see the breaks in the clouds Stark County still looking like you're going to have the best shot to see more sunshine today than the rest of us but again there will be breaks out there and that's going to help to get those temperatures into the 70s for most of us this afternoon. 72 Brownsville, 76 out at Roma. Again, you get a little bit more sunshine out there and less clouds. Those temperatures could actually go a little bit higher than that. But this will be one of the warmest days we've seen in quite some time. 66 degrees out on the island. Then overnight tonight, not as cool as more humidity moves across the valley. That means we could see some more of that dense fog tomorrow morning as winds go calm and so be aware of that as you head out and about tomorrow morning. We had dense fog advisories this morning. Temperatures are near 60 degrees to mid 60s uh, there around Port Isabel. And on Bay, looking at a moderate chop. That bay temperature now 59. Sunrise this morning was 645. Sunset tonight now getting uh, a little bit earlier, 637. Uh, high tide will be at 146 this afternoon. And as far as any allergens out there, we've got tree pollen in the medium category. That's come down. Grass is still in the high section there. And ragweed has come down as well now in the low category. Our next weather maker is the next cold front that will come through. And that's going to be later in the day tomorrow. So we're going to start off warm tomorrow morning. Then we'll have another very, in fact, a warmest day we've seen in a while tomorrow afternoon as we try and get into the 80s. So uh, this evening, there is where the front is projected to be moving south of the Texas Panhandle, making its way into central Texas. Showers out of the Gulf of Mexico. Some of those could make it up towards the coast tonight and tomorrow morning. And then as that front approaches, I expect to see a thin little line of showers develop with the main energy being further north and east of the valley. Once that front comes through, you saw those temperatures in the mid and upper 80s in spots. And then by 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow evening, we're down into the lower 50s, some upper 40s. So it's going to be a pretty good front once again. Strong winds behind it. So even though we're looking at 41 degrees by Saturday morning in Harlingen, 42 there in McAllen, that wind will be gusting up around 30 miles per hour plus. It's going to make these temperatures feel like the low to mid 30s to start off Saturday morning. We've got the drought monitor out every Thursday and still looking at a couple of few pockets here, deep south Texas around Houston and Austin, where we're not looking at much in the way of drought conditions. But you go out into the upper valley, that dry line is starting to make it further east. That moderate line is making it further east as well. We need rain, especially in the upper valley, real bad. And unfortunately, there it is. And we've got, again, 80s tomorrow. And then that front comes through. And you're going to notice that the winds will be howling. And we'll go from the 80s to the 50s just like that. Don't forget, got to change that clock back Saturday night, Sunday morning as well. 57 with sunshine Saturday, Sunday, 67 and sunshine. So pretty dry conditions after we get done with this drizzle, kind of a light rainy mess we got today and tomorrow morning. Looking forward to the beginning of next week. Yes. We have some beautiful weather coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jim.